All right, hello guys, it's Tom here speaking, and I'm just, uh, we've got four peers live, we're actually using the new Miss Browser or Ethereum wallet, and I thought I'd just sort of demonstrate what we've got going on here. So I've got a main account, and I've just actually put in there a little note to myself, password known, and I've got a, also got a second main account, and I've just put a note in there saying password known. These two accounts here, I can't remember the passwords for, so I'm not going to use them. But basically what you have here is you've got wallets, you can send, so this is just functions, basically simple contracts, and then you've got contracts here, which is where you can sort of make custom, write some custom code and make very unique contracts, and then we've got the balance, and this is the balance that's across the, the uh, wallets. It's not the balance across the contracts. All right, so that's the accounts overview. Then we've got the wallet contracts, haven't used that yet. Then we've got latest transactions, so it creates a feed of the latest transactions across any of the wallets. And then we've got the send function, so we can send from any of the uh, Ethereum wallets and to uh, any Ethereum address, and then just specify the amount, um, and you choose how much you want to pay for it. So obviously, the more you pay, the faster, which means it'll look the contract. I mean the uh, the function will execute within a few seconds. If you pay less, uh, it can take up to a few minutes. And then just press send. So then it will just ask for a password to that to that main account, and that's it. <coughs> All right. So that's the send function. So I'm just going to show you here in the contracts. I'm actually going to send myself. Uh, we can deploy new contracts by clicking on there, and you write in the contract code using Solidity, or you can use the byte code. Um, and there's a couple of different things you can do there. Or, and then obviously you select the feed to run the contract again. Um, running it faster will cost more, running it less will cost, um, running it uh, slower will cost less. So you deploy the contract. So I'm going to show you, if we go back to contracts, I'm going to show you a contract that we've already deployed. So this is a contract that my friend Felix and I have tested. Um, we just called it test contract. We sent in some ether. Uh, we actually wrote a custom a uh, bit of custom code to actually lock the ether for one hour so that it couldn't be removed from any parties. Um, and then we have a function in here that we can actually request the ether once it's, it's finished. So uh, it's a really simple uh, code as well. Um, I'll just get it if I can. No, it's not that one there. Here it is here, we basically, um, we called the contract, um, we called it uh, Tom Felix test or test Tom Felix and we basically had this function, the message sender, we locked it, we changed that from five years to one hours and and then we ran this, this function here. So we're actually going to run this function request ether right now. So if we go back over to it. This is the function now, request ether. Now if I want to send one Ethereum, let's just see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So this you can see there is you've actually got to have the same amount of integers uh, when you're requesting. So you do request ether. And then you've got to go, say for instance, I want to move one from there, do one, and then I'm going to add in 18 zeros to make sure I fill in the same decimal spaces. This is still very early days in this um, in this actual uh, wallet. So I'm just going to add 18 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, and I'm going to request it to go back to the main. So at the moment there's 1.68 ether in there. And... That's all we need to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and press execute, and it's it just ignore this uh, up here. It's still very early days. So I type in my password, so typing in my password, um, the gas price is 0.02 per million gas, ether per million gas. Um, that's the maximum fee and the estimated uh, fee consumption. 
so all I'd have to do is press execute and we should see it go from 1.68 ether in the main account to 2.68 so I'll head, go ahead and press send transaction and by the way you've always when you're making a change to a contract which is what we're doing we're sending a request to a contract you have to choose an ethereum wallet to do it from or you have to choose a yeah an ethereum wallet so I'll just head send, send contract transaction alright transaction was executed so if we have a look up here uh, it's going to take a few seconds to take action so this should go to 1.18999 so you'll see here in a few seconds something will happen remember the main account was 1.68 ether so the funny thing is with um, at the moment with doing contracts with or writing uh, making executions to contract it doesn't actually um, show you a log as with the wallets I imagine that they will code a log in here at the bottom at some point so let's just check the wallet and see if it's gone through so it still says 1.6 at the moment Contract says 2.189, so we've just got to wait a bit longer. Mm, it's normally faster than this. <coughs> Maybe it'll happen after the final next block. Alright, so here goes contract execution. So it did actually happen. So there is a feed here. So I'm just going to do that again. Make a function, request ether. Um, actually, I'm just going to call it Felix and see what we did wrong there. <laughs> Hey Felix. Hey Felix, I'm just recording. I'm just doing a, a demonstration of this wallet. Um, and I just tried to do it. Can we just try and do it again? I'm just sharing my screen. Yeah. Um, so we've got it in there, uh, the contract. I'm just requesting one ether. Uh, so we just do one and then 18 zeros basically. That was what we did, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And that was it. That's it. And the uh, unit name that they give to that is um, we W E I. Yeah, that's we. Yeah. So that's just that that is just all set in we at the moment. So yeah. it should yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah, for some reason it didn't work, but let's just try again. So okay. one point six eight. So there's 1.68 in the main account, so we're gonna it should have 2.68 afterwards. This. All right. So we'll go Fair execute. Enough. Yeah. Although well, the the main account isn't the one this contract. Account. Oh, did we do it into the second account last time? So maybe we have to do that. Try try the first one again. Because I'd like to see see if it works. You said before it didn't. No. Right. Well, if, if it's not working, the reason why is because. It's with the contract. Alright, so that's executed. Oh, that just changed to second yeah. account. Just then. If, um, if that is the case, then we need to transfer the 2.189 ether back to the second wallet and then from the second wallet to the main wallet. Yeah, yeah that's fine. So I'm just going to go back to wallets. So. Yeah, it's finished the transfer, but nothing happened. Oh no, here All we right. go. Confirmations. Twelve, two of twelve. All right, let it do its thing. Yeah, if, if not, that's the reason why, because the contract was made on the second account. Yep. Which would make sense, you know. It makes sense, yeah. 
And that's what we, we we sent it to the second account last time. Yeah. Does that make sense? And you know what's funny? You, uh, last night, uh, when we did that one week, that when we just put the, the one in, yep. it actually um, registered on Etherscan. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, and it says one week instead of one ether. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so we'll wait until this finishes and finishes executing. And then we'll actually go yeah. and send it to the second. But yeah, it's not going to work. That's correct. So we can click on so the here. The cool thing is, um, yeah. you can lock it uh, with that other contract we have. You can lock any amount of ether and then it will automatically And this is here, I'm just explaining in this video what's going on. So here's the contract right, contract right now. Uh, it's got five confirmations on Etherscan, a block height, a timestamp one minute ago from that account, which I think the, that was the request, that's the Ethereum wallet, and this is the actual address of the Ethereum contract. So it says here, no errors detected during contract execution, which is good. Gas, the gas price, gas used by transaction, total transaction costs, cumulative gas, and input data. All right, so let's go back over here. If we refresh this, we should see more confirmations on here. Right, so we've got seven block confirmations now. It says 11 on here, 11 of 12. All right, and nothing has changed. All right, so that's done. So now we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to go to the contracts and we're going to actually uh, make a request to the contract. So we're choosing a function inside the contract and then we're going to make a request from the contract to send it to the second account which was the actual account that created the contract and we're going to send one ether so the second account at the moment has 1.1 ether um, and so we're going to remove one ether from the contract which is two so this should be go to 1.189 and this will go to uh, 2.1 so one so 18 zeros one two three And we'll hit execute. And send transaction. All right, so we should see this go from 2.18 to 1.18. There it is, 1.18 has just changed, and the balance in, across the wallets has increased. So that's beautiful. So if we go to wallets now, and we can see here on the 17th of March there's been one confirmation. So it actually does the um, update of the balance upon the first confirmation, which is interesting. And that was very quick. Yeah, very quick. All right, so I think I'll finish this off. And so thanks, guys, for listening to this. Um, looking forward to um, the next Ethereum meetup in Brisbane and uh, yeah like you know this is just the beginning so pretty amazing thanks Felix as well all right yeah